A leaked draft of the White House immigration plan provides a glimpse of what the president wants reform to look like. The time has come to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Now's the time to do it. An Obama administration plan made public late Saturday proposes an eight-year-long path to citizenship for illegal immigrants. The draft of this plan was obtained by USA Today, which reported the White House had sent copies to several federal agencies. Under the plan, illegal immigrants would need to pass a background check, pay back taxes, and then would be allowed U.S. residency for four years, then able to apply for an extension and later citizenship after another four years. The draft flushes out details built on a framework proposed by a bipartisan group of senators in late January. That group includes Republican Marco Rubio, who, despite providing a basis for the plan, doesn't agree with the specifics. A Politico quotes a Florida senator as saying already the leaked plan from the Obama White House is dead on arrival in Congress. Quote, it fails to follow through on previously broken promises to secure our borders. Creates a special pathway that puts those who broke our immigration laws at an advantage over those who chose to do things the right way and come here legally. Although the Obama plan does call for increased border security, it only does so in vague terms. Of course, that could just be the result of an unfinished draft not yet meant for public consumption. The Obama plan also leaves the issue of future immigration flow unaddressed. Lawmakers in both parties have urged a solution that would deal not only with illegal immigrants in the country, but with those who might enter the country eventually. The White House bill is just one of three immigration plans in the works currently. Groups in the Senate and House are each working on their own bills as well. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a real story.